one of the the, the bad things about um, before I before I came to LA is I, I had to break up with uh, my girlfriend. Um, which yeah, it's it's no, we it, it wasn't working out. We weren't even together that long. It was six months, which is like two years to a white girl. And um, <laughs> what? But um, but I there are things you can do when you're single, right? Like I used to go speed dating. Everyone knows what speed dating is, right? Of course, it's where you go to a nightclub about five minutes before it closes, and. Um, <laughs> Yeah. But the trick, I think, to a good relationship, you guys look happy, but the, the trick, I think, is, is romance, right? You've got to you gotta be romantic. You've got to do things for your lady, right? Am I, of course, right? Yeah, you have to. What's, and, and, like, I have this friend who, who's, like, he's, like, the ultimate romantic guy, right? This is an absolute true story. On his last anniversary, his girlfriend woke up, her bedroom uh, covered in roses, okay? Red roses everywhere, and these little paper cranes that he had spent all night folding. And what, what it was... It was a scene out of her favorite French movie, okay? Uh, oh, he even went to the trouble of finding the soundtrack to this obscure film that she loved, right? So he recreated this scene from this thing, and she woke up, she saw it, she got it, and she loved it, and you know, crazy points. And I thought, you know what, that is a really good idea. I'm gonna do that for my girlfriend at the time. I was like, that's, I'm gonna do that, but with her favorite movie? Because I can be romantic too, right? And so on the day of our anniversary, uh, my girlfriend woke up with her leg chained to a pipe. And, um, <laughs> She's all woozy from the drugs and stuff, right? And <laughs> out of nowhere, she hears, Michelle, you're probably wondering why you're here right now. <laughs> and the whole time, there was a dead guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get it. But no, so I had to do the, uh, I had to do the breakup, which nobody likes to do. Uh, I, I, so I had to break up with her. I was hesitant because I'd only ever broken up with one person properly before her, like where it was up to me. And that went like horribly, like it was just the worst moment in my life because she was right there and she was, she was crying and you know, the makeup and she was throwing stuff and it was just, you know, and I could, I kind of felt like the whole situation would have gone a lot better had I had the right words to say, like had I known, had to, if I'd been able to articulate it properly. So I was determined on this breakup that that wasn't gonna happen, right? Like I was gonna, I, I'm gonna go over it in my head and I'm gonna have the right words. And uh, you know, so I did, I, I rehearsed it and then I waited for the right moment and finally it came and I just, I, I just said, Michelle, there's uh, you know, we both know that this has been coming for a long time. There's some things that need to be said to be clarified about our relationship. I, uh, I can't keep going on pretending that everything's fine when it isn't. Our, uh, our relationship was special and nothing can change that. But what has changed is the way we feel about each other. We seem to have grown apart over time. And uh, you know, they say a relationship is like a mirror. And sometimes when it breaks, it's better to leave it broken than to hurt yourself trying to fix it. <laughs> I, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is that in the end, no matter what, I will always love you. Always. Send. <laughs> Guys, my name is Fox Line. Thank you so much.